day one. Hey, I got this 50 megahertz rail. This thing's pretty nice. Can do so much with it. It's a little noisy, but at least I know it's working. Day two. Wow. I just found out that I can hack this to do 100 megahertz online. Now I can zoom in as far as I want. Do I have a Rigel 1052E? No. I have a Rigel DS. 1102E. Pretty cool. Fan's starting to get a little annoying though. Day three. That fan's really making it hard for me to think straight. Day four. Oh, I gotta do something about that fan. All right, so I got this uh, Noctura 60 millimeter fan. It's uh, almost as much airflow and uh, a heck of a lot quieter, hopefully. So what we need to do now is uh, disassemble our oscilloscope. I got it on a pillow here so I can lay it face down because you need to be really gentle with oscilloscopes. So uh, let me go ahead and take this apart. Okay, and that did it. So now we're in and you can see here that there's our little fan. It's making all the racket and it's plugged into our board with a nice little clip so we can go ahead and unclip that and what we'll do is we'll solder a, uh, a clip onto our new fan while we're in here I've heard that this little voltage regulator here gets kind of hot so what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, bend him up a little bit and uh, add a heatsink Wow look at all the great stuff this fan comes with I wonder if we can use those isolation mounts all specs aside I think this kind of demonstrates why uh, the Noctura fan uh, is probably going to perform a little bit better than the stock fan. Instead of soldering, maybe we can extract the pins from the old fan and uh, put the pins from the new fan in. That'd be pretty sweet. The first thing I did was I labeled uh, which side was black, both on the connector and on the, the wires. Because once we remove the pins, we won't know which is uh, which anymore. I'm just using a really small screwdriver to kind of pry this out. There's one. And there's two. So now we have the pins free that, from the old fan that we're not going to use. And we have our connector. So let's see if we can get the new uh, pins into this connector. Now the Noctura fans for a PC, so there's three wires. The uh, extra wire is a speed sense wire. Uh, that way the computer can read uh, what RPM the fan's running at and uh, either use a voltage or pulse width modulation to uh, slow the fan down, usually based on a, a temperature sensor, but we don't have any of that. Um, we're just going to run this fan full blast from the Rigel. Uh, I, th I thought about getting a thermatically controlled fan, but I wasn't really sure where to put the uh, the temperature sensor, um, which is one of the reasons why I added a heat sink to that one regulator. I, the only thing I noticed when I searched for uh, for heat uh, related things on the Rigel was people talking about that thing getting hot. So uh, same idea. We're just going to push down on these pins and slide them out of here without uh, screwing them up, hopefully. Here we go. Since there's a heat shrink on the end there, it's a little harder because I have to kind of pull them all out at the same time. Um, and if you try to pull one before it's ready, it actually makes it worse. It just bends the tab up more, which is what I did with the red wire. Getting close. There we go. And so we have all three tabs out of our connector, which we're not going to use now. And uh, let's see if we can get that into our uh, our Rigel connector. Well, that kind of worked. Um, the connector isn't quite as deep as the other one, so I need to be careful that these two don't uh, 
pushed together up here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually cut a strip of electrical tape. That way I don't have to deal with the, uh, the excess that I don't need. Won't get in the way of the connector. This would probably be fine even without the electrical tape, but I want this scope to uh, last quite a while. Just do the uh, around the outside too. That way, if something somehow uh, comes in contact with it, it'll uh, it'll be protected also. And uh, there we go. I'm gonna take this uh, excess tape that I cut, and I'll use that to protect this yellow wire, which I'm just gonna fold down and then tape around it once more. I believe the yellow wire is just shorted to ground every time the uh, the fan makes a revolution. So let's go ahead and put our fan in. I'm going to figure out the wiring first. I think I'm going to wrap the excess around the fan like this so it stays out of the way. A lot of a project like this is more mechanical than, than electrical even. Um, you don't have to know that much about what's going on electrically in order to do a modification like this. It's really uh, just the physical components of it. And you have to, you know, worry about things like strain relief and, and stuff like that. Give you a shot in there. There's our wire. Um, we want to make sure that it can never get into the blades. So I kind of, kind of, pushed in there. There's a lot of, uh, there's a fair amount of stress here, so I don't think it's going to move left or right too much. Oh, man. I don't know how much of this is me not wanting to screw up the uh, fancy fan that I paid too much for, and how much is the, uh, the screw not liking the fan. I think I know the problem. The screw is not beige. Oh, the Noctura did actually come with mounting screws. I just saw that. Let's try using the Noctura screws instead. They're not beige. Let's go ahead. Oh, and they're Phillips. How nice. Let's get a Phillips screwdriver. I don't know why the Rigel guys used T8s everywhere. Guess they figured that'll stop people from uh, disassembling the scope. It clearly stopped me and everyone else on the internet. Yeah, these are going in a little easier. The little fan just made this really high-pitched sound. It, it wasn't so much the noise. I mean, it was only making maybe 64 dB a sound. But the frequency of the sound was really fatiguing. Just kind of made you want to turn the scope off every time you weren't using it because the noise just was horrible. All right. So we got our fan in there. There it is. It's sexy. Beige. White beige. Um. We got our heatsink on there. I think we should probably power this up and make sure that it actually works before we put it all back together. That sounds dangerous. I like it. So we're going to go ahead and plug in our uh, 100, 110 volt main. And I'm going to press the power switch. Hey, the fan's on. But I don't hear it. Wow. So that made an incredible difference in the sound. The easiest way to get this back together quickly is just to grab a roll of duct tape 
and wrap it around the entire unit. So there you go. Um, the scope is now virtually silent. Um, I measured it with a, a dB meter and uh, it's below my dB meter's ability to read. It's below 60 dB. Um, even if the sound was the same uh, level, if it was 64 dB of sound, the sound that we're getting now is more of a deep kind of whoosh of air versus the high pitch kind of almost whistling sound that it was making before. That was a awesome upgrade. I wish I had done it sooner. Um, perhaps adding the heat sink to that, uh, that one voltage regulator will uh, help improve the life of the scope. Um, but yeah, I, I think if you have a Rigel scope and you feel comfortable getting in there, then uh, this is definitely a, a worthwhile project. And for any that are curious, uh, the only visible difference really is that you can kind of see the beige fan in there, but not really. So it's not really even obvious that this mod's done, which is, uh, it's always my favorite kind of mod is one that uh, isn't, you know, totally apparent.